What was the Battle of Acton? On September 3rd, 1862, while the soldiers were being attacked at Birch Cooley, there was another battle. This was the Battle of Acton, and it is probably the least well-known and studied battle of the U.S.-Dakota War. While Colonel Sibley's forces of about 1,600 soldiers had been sent to Fort Ridgely, a much smaller force of about 65 men led by Captain Richard Strout had been sent to Glencoe and Forest City. The goal of Captain Strout and his men was to protect the settlers from Dakota attacks. While patrolling the area on September 2nd, they camped near the town of Acton. That night, three messengers had been sent from the Forest City Home Guard warning Captain Strout of a large force of Dakota Indians. This was Little Crow and about 150 to 200 Dakota warriors. On the morning of September 3rd, Captain Strout and his men, guided by the messengers, left for Hutchinson where they would find protection in the stockade. About two miles into their travels, the Dakota forces sprang from the tall grass and ambushed them. Being outnumbered, having little military experience, and being low on ammunition, Strout's men made a bayonet charge in order to open an alley where they could retreat. The tactic worked, and the men began running south toward Hutchinson. Constantly under fire, the men had to fire and reload all while running. As the men became wounded, they jumped into the wagons, but had to begin jettisoning supplies. The Dakota stopped to pick up the supplies, which helped the soldiers maintain their distance from the enemy. After a two-hour battle that stretched over eight miles, the men reached the safety of the Hutchinson stockade. Captain Strout lost three killed, 18 to 24 wounded, nine horses, two wagons, and all their supplies. Three more men later died of their wounds. Dakota losses are unknown.